Okay, so here's my first half finished prototype of my uh, ram pump. So what we got here is again, half finished. This is the drive pipe. This adapter, oh, that's bright. This adapter right here still has to be ridded of ants first off and uh, glued on here. And then I'm gonna take this charcoal screen mesh and cover that and probably cover it some more. You can see the holes that I've drilled in here. God dang, this is bright. You can see the holes that I've drilled in here. My do turn off. Does this have a lesser setting? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, just to absorb water flow. So this is gonna go right in the rapids, just like this. But you know, there's gonna be a screen on here and I may even bushing this down a little bit more. Uh, just so, you know, like a rock doesn't penetrate the screen. Uh, maybe pushing it down to like inch and a half or something. It's gonna sit in the rocks, on the rapids. Now, garden hose attachment. All of this is one piece, by the way, except for the garden hose attachment. This garden hose, one of those flexible ones you see on the infomercials, it takes a long, long time, not too long, to completely drain of water. But the thing is, is once you get all the water out, this thing packs up so freaking light and so easy. I figured it would be the best material. Uh, it's three quarter inch and it is 50 feet long. It might be 25, I forget. Okay, so now let's look at my ramp pump, which is unfinished. Here's the other hose. So, I tried to make this as packable as possible in my boat. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this just right. Meaning every connection, you guys can probably see this, but every connection other than this T, these two adapters, and this check valve with these two adapters is all unionized or threaded, meaning I can unthread here, I can unthread the union, I can unthread the union from this side, I can unthread here, I can unthread the uh, waste valve, aka swing check valve, I can unthread here, I can unthread the union here. The reason I did this is because this cheap ass check valve is going to fail, this waste valve might fail, and also all of this is not going to fit my boat very nicely like this. I'm going to disassemble it into as many pieces as possible, set it up at camp with the hoses wind up and it'll pack into my boat just fine. Now, it's obviously unfinished because it does not have a stand pipe or a pressure pipe. This is all three quarter inch. I've seen a variety of different designs for these ram pumps. Usually, usually the delivery pipe after the check valve is smaller than the drive pipe. In my situation, it's gonna be the same size because I've seen people that have great success with the same size. It's gonna take some tinkering. This is my first prototype. Now, the last thing I need to do is get another T, three quarter inch T. I probably should have just put a union here, honestly. I don't know why I use so many adapters. I should use more unions, but I figured an adapter would have probably seal better with thread tape than the union would. Uh, this and the drive pipe is Cellcore PVC 3 inch. I know you guys aren't plumbers. Cellcore is the uh, lightest weight PVC on the market. It's not pressure rated. However, this thing is only going to get probably 15 pounds of pressure at most during the water hammer spike. But it's the lightest, so it will work in my boat. It'll sit on a T. Uh, it's gonna have a bell reducer that reduces down to two inch. Inside the bell reducer is gonna be a two inch by three quarter inch MIP adapter, meaning the bell reducer, it literally looks like a bell, comes to two inch. Inside the two inch part is just gonna be a bushing that comes out with female threads of three quarter inch length and that's gonna thread into a threaded th uh, three quarter inch T. 
with probably a short nipple on it. Maybe even just a union, another glue joint union. Because I actually think the pressure tank should not really have a un like a union or any threads. But I don't, I can't glue this to it, so I'm still trying to work out how best to connect it, because I don't want to lose any uh, water hammer. And finally, I'll put another adapter in union, just like this, after that T, so I can have my delivery hose. And the ball valves are built right into the delivery hose, so I didn't even have to spend any money on that. That's what I like. Um, now. The only problem that I'm foreseeing right now with this is number one, PVC absorbs shock waves from water hammer and dissipates them through the material, meaning the water hammer pressure that's released is far less than you would have with a metal pipe. Now, this brass swing check valve is heavy enough on its own. If I were to use the same height of metal pipe, even in copper, like I, I got a three quarter inch copper pipe that's this length, it's heavier than this. So packing my boat's all about weight and an air chamber needs to be, you know, like three inches. I've seen some people do it with like inch and a half or two inches, but I'm worried that this is not gonna create enough water hammer to actually pump water well enough for me. But also the applications I've seen online when I was designing this thing are all for basically pulling water from really low flowing creeks hundreds of feet away to a house like for drinking water for well water i'm using this to literally cool a teg module and maybe like fill up my water jug so i don't have to get my feet muddy and if it really works well i could take a shower under it instead of jumping into snake filled water so i might redesign some of this I, shit who am i kidding i'm definitely going to re redesign some of it if I could manage to get this standpipe or somehow eliminate it by digging down deep enough and bearing, not bearing completely, but if I dig a hole for my ram pump, because it has to be below grade of the uh, drive, then I may completely not even need a standpipe or at least not one of this size. And also inside of here, I was gonna put a balloon at the top with a clean out if I hadn't mentioned that. There's probably gonna be a clean out on that guy too. Well, I haven't decided about that guy. But in case the balloon explodes, I'd like to be able to get it out of there without having to cut this apart.